Hey, oh, the big JB here on a wet and gray Friday. 42 degrees today, as opposed to the 20. Oh, my computer's booted up. Uh, as opposed to the 25 degrees that it was yesterday uh, when I hit. There's a storage place not too far from here. They have a temperature gauge. So I looked at it yesterday as I was driving by. 25 degrees. Today is 42 degrees, which is all kinds of fun. Um, so yesterday I mentioned um, trying to get some coaching and help with uh, some of the stuff with our daughters. And um, so I don't want to go into too much detail because it's not your business. Um, but I do want to give a little bit of insight. Um, it, it's a curious thing. Sorry, I'm messing with the light value again because it's weird from being overcast today. I need a better camera, but you know what? The whole purpose of this podcast was to see if I could do this from my car with an iPod. Hey. Um, so from a parent standpoint, the question comes up is what do you do when your young children exhibit behavior that seems like anxiety? Everybody gets a little nervous, right? Uh, when I was a teenager, I remember uh, playing in jazz, and before a solo, I'd, I'd get nervous, you know, or before a concert, I'd get a little nervous, and, and that's just how I knew, you know, what was going on. It still happens when I get up to do a performance, if I'm going to do some improv with my brother, or um, before I speak to the youth group or whatever, um, I always get, you know, little butterflies in my stomach, a little nervous. And um, so I think that that's normal, but the question is, what do you do when your kids seem to exhibit beyond normal anxiety? Which is what our youngest two seem to be exhibiting, but I don't know. I don't know all the signs uh, that I'm looking for. Um, so that's where my wife and I are, trying to figure out how we assess what's going on with our kids, and then how we get the best help. Um, you know, of course, there's always the you know, medicine option. Um, I am not a fan of taking a pill for everything that ails you. Um, I have some um, conditions that require me to take medication, but I'm not fond of, of using a pill for everything. And it makes me wonder, what did we do, you know, a century ago? Because surely, okay, so I suppose it's possible with food and diet and all the other changes that we've made um, in society, that those things have increased depression anxiety adhd that kind of stuff but people who are like for example add specialists say that um there are a lot of famous people who actually had adhd um based on their based on the way that they function so you know there had to be it makes me think that there, these have had to be around for a long time what do we used to do? How did society function? It makes me wonder if the people that we said, you know, in history were very melancholy actually had some kind of clinical depression. Um, or, you know, people who accomplished great things, um, but then would fall into a, you know, a dark, dark depression. Um, were they, were they manic depressive or bipolar as they would say now? Because bipolar condition has these has those swings, you know, the swings from from one end of deep dark depression over to the other side of manic, where they have a ton of energy. They may not sleep. They get a ton of stuff done. If they're creative people, they sometimes have those bursts of amazing creativity where they paint the best that they've ever painted. They write the best they've ever written, um, and then the pendulum swings back to the depressive side and they don't feel like they can get anything done. And so there's this back and forth. So it's, you know, it's possible that people in the past who accomplished those great things actually were bipolar. But again, the, the question is, how did, how did society go on? Uh, you know, did, did we just, you know, was it, was it self-medicating? Did we just, you know, people went to the pub and got drunk or what? So it's, it's raised a, you know, curious question. So I may end up spending some time, you know, researching that. I'm very glad for medical science. So don't get me wrong. I really am glad that, that we have that. But um, I'm also, I also hesitate with a lot of that to say that everything that, that happens there is great because I'm just not sure we need to medicate every, <laughs> every problem, problem that exists. Some people say it's diet and exercise and the, the lack thereof in our society. 
sitting at desk jobs, you know, Fight Club has that whole thing. It's like, we weren't meant to sit in a cubicle all day. And I agree with that. Um, but, you know, society is what it is. So, I don't know. It's There's a lot of, a lot of things that I'm pondering, obviously. So... Well, I hope everybody has an awesome Friday and a great weekend. I am going to go inside now. So this has been the Big JB for Morning Thunder. Please follow me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.